Utah and Los Angeles today, law enforcement can be a very dangerous job. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the best way to understand is to put yourself in their shoes, even for just a couple of hours. Brian Master joins us live via 6 View Live to explain. Brian? Jackie Joe, we're live outside the downtown police headquarters here in Omaha. Now, if someone were to jump out of the side of this live shot, would you be able to recognize the danger? That's the type of split-second decisions police officers and FBI agents have to make. 50-plus executives from around the metro came as guests of Omaha police or the FBI to step into law enforcement shoes for a few hours. So this is my first time ever shooting a gun. Dustin Darmody is with McDonald's. It's really powerful. I, you, you don't understand the kickback that it's going to take when you, you go and pull the trigger. The men and women traded in their business suits for guns. Stop! FBI! The simulator was a real eye-opener. Like those with the real badges, you had to decide if the person on screen is a threat. That's what this is going to be for, is to take out the engine block and to stop the vehicle. There were some weapons that were for show only. It's understandable. No one was getting the chance to test fly the helicopter. Still, getting to talk to those who use the tools and ask the questions they've always wanted to. Yeah, I think a lot more about what the officers go through uh, when they're you know, in the situation. I, I appreciate more what, you know, what they're all about. I'll give it a couple tries. Even this reporter was allowed in what's nicknamed the swamp. They let me try out the MP5 tactical rifle. Yep, this is what the SWAT guys carry. Uh, patrolman. Uh, exact same rifle, a little bit longer, semi-auto, but the same round, same capability. I also tried it on fully automatic. It has plenty of kick. The officer explained why fully automatic is rarely used. Now, ideally on the street, or let's say in a SWAT deployment, guys aren't going to, they're not going to full auto. Obviously, there's a lot of liability there. Uh, what they will do, though... Now, Jackie, Joe, just to be clear, the woman who walked out during our live shot was not a danger, was not a threat. We didn't plan that. She just happened to come out at that time. Now, both the FBI and Omaha police allow citizens the chance to go through academies at different times of the year. Just check into that if you're interested. Reporting live, Brian Mastery, WWT6 News. Thanks, Brian, and thank you for clarifying yeah, that. Yeah, we were wondering. <laughs> she looked innocent, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is.